the FAA has made a shocking announcement that could derail the entire Starship program. After making SpaceX wait several weeks for approval, the FAA has now provided an update that could force Elon Musk to change the Starship's developmental timeline. Let's talk about this latest development and why delaying the Starship any longer is bad for not only SpaceX, but the entire human race. In a recent statement, the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, expressed its optimism about potentially granting SpaceX the green light for the launch of its mega rocket Starship by the end of October. However, this announcement seems to bring some unfavorable developments for Starship's upcoming schedule. In an email addressed to the relevant stakeholders, the FAA has officially confirmed that SpaceX has successfully concluded an investigation into a mishap and this investigation was conducted under FAA supervision. This thorough investigation encompassed an examination of the launch itself, the incidents leading to the mishap, and the subsequent corrective actions taken. Now, to proceed with the second launch, SpaceX is required to secure a modified license that addresses safety, environmental concerns, and regulatory prerequisites. The FAA will carefully assess new environmental data, taking into account alterations made to the launch pad and proposed modifications to the vehicle. Furthermore, there is a shocking mention of a re-evaluation of the programmatic environmental assessment, hinting at the possibility that a modified assessment may be required. Such reviews can be somewhat unclear and time-consuming. This may also appear to some as a shifting of expectations by the FAA, especially in light of their earlier notice. Many were anticipating another launch this year, but with the potential need for another programmatic environmental assessment, as mentioned by the FAA, it may delay the launch until next spring. Additionally, the email highlights the need for consultation with the US Fish and Wildlife Service, a new requirement that could impact the timeline. As a result, the FAA has not yet granted authorization for SpaceX's proposed second flight. It's worth noting that this email update represents a first-time occurrence and concerns about potential delays or procrastination are entirely valid. This raises the question that are any further delays valid at this point, especially considering that the Starship is already way behind schedule. Undoubtedly, the inaugural flight of Starship encountered a series of complications. Starship was in flight for about four minutes before unexpectedly entering a fatal tumble, requiring ground controllers to issue a self-destruct command. Contributing factors to this mishap included multiple failures of the Raptor engines and issues with the booster. Additionally, the absence of a reliable suppression system at the launch pad led to substantial damage and the dispersal of debris in the surrounding area. Following the unsuccessful flight, conservation groups initiated a lawsuit against the FAA, alleging that they had granted approval for the launch. Wildlife officials conducted a thorough survey of the site after Starship's launch, revealing the presence of concrete fragments scattered throughout the area and substantial craters in the tidal flats, some as deep as a foot. The report also documented the devastating effects on the environment, including the burning of approximately four acres of the nearby Texas State Park. Tragically, a group of blue land crabs and seven bobwhite quail eggs were incinerated as a result of the launch. The explosion during the launch created a significant debris field spanning 385 acres, propelling concrete fragments as far as 2,680 feet away from the launch pad and igniting a three and a half acre fire. Concerns had been raised for years regarding the close proximity of SpaceX's rocket base to endangered species, including a nesting beach for loggerhead sea turtles. In the aftermath of SpaceX's April launch, a coalition of environmental organizations filed a lawsuit against the FAA, alleging that the agency had not conducted a sufficient environmental assessment. Regarding the impact on endangered species, US wildlife biologists did not discover any deceased endangered animals. However, it's important to note that their investigation into this matter was significantly impeded by SpaceX. Wildlife officials were not granted access to the site until a full 48 hours had passed since Starship's launch. This delay meant that any potential animal casualties could have been removed from the area, carried away by currents, or consumed by other wildlife before experts had the opportunity to thoroughly document the aftermath. A significant portion of the damage can be attributed to a deliberate decision made by SpaceX, which left experts puzzled. According to the documents, SpaceX chose not to employ flame suppression technology, such as a flame diverter or flame trench, which is a standard practice in the industry. This technology redirects energy away from the rocket ship during launch. The absence of this crucial technology resulted in Starship creating a crater beneath it, ultimately leading to the destruction of its launch pad. Given all these concerns, SpaceX has undertaken substantial measures to enhance the safety and reliability of its massive rocket ship. Furthermore, these modifications have been thoroughly validated through rigorous testing. In light of these efforts, it seems entirely reasonable for the FAA to expedite the inspection process and grant approval for Starship to resume its flights. The achievement of Starship holds significance not just for SpaceX and the United States, but for all of humanity. Starship's purpose extends to transporting passengers to the Moon and Mars, a vital component of NASA's Artemis program. Beyond that, 
It envisions taking 100 people on extended interplanetary journeys. What makes it truly remarkable is its cost effectiveness, with the potential to deliver approximately 100 tons of cargo to any planet within our solar system like Mars for as little as 50 million US dollars. This promises to open up exciting possibilities for space exploration and colonization. To provide a comparison, the retired Space Shuttle, a reusable spacecraft system that NASA operated until 2011, cost a staggering $1.5 billion per launch to carry only about one quarter of the payload capacity that Starship could handle, and this was limited to low Earth orbit missions. What sets Starship apart is its reusability, enabling rapid turnaround and relaunch cycles. As Starship evolves, multiple iterations of the spacecraft could collectively transport up to a million tons of cargo into space annually. This extraordinary capacity has the potential to reduce launch costs by nearly a hundredfold compared to current rates. In fact, it could even lead to daily launches, bringing launch costs down to approximately $23 per pound of payload, essentially removing cost as a major impediment to space access. Historically, the constraints of launch size and weight have limited the scope of scientific exploration in space. However, the substantial size and capabilities of Starship promise to change this paradigm. With its immense size and power, Starship could make human missions to the Moon and Mars not just feasible but financially sustainable, even for individuals who are not among the wealthiest. This breakthrough could pave the way for space tourism, where people might pay for the opportunity to visit space hotels and do so at a cost comparable to purchasing a plane ticket to Europe. The cost effectiveness of launching experiments into space with Starship is such that even a high school science class could conceive, construct, and send its own experiments into the cosmos. Starship's capability to transport heavy payloads at a low cost not only unlocks the potential for interplanetary colonization, but also opens up fresh avenues in communications and Earth observation. It could facilitate the deployment of tens of thousands of satellites into space, all at a minimal expense. The limitations imposed by launch costs and cargo bay capacities of rockets will no longer dictate the number and varieties of satellites in orbit. This shift removes a significant barrier for individuals and organizations on Earth. It also promises access to services such as hyper-localized weather forecasting or real-time monitoring of crop health and yield, allowing us to address issues related to diseases or droughts before they escalate into major problems. Other benefits also include ubiquitous and low-cost video communication across the globe, improved earthquake prediction, fully space-based air traffic control systems, and more accurate navigation aids, surpassing today's GPS capabilities. However, these possibilities remain in the realm of dreams unless Starship can be launched in the near future. While some believe that the FAA is putting unjust pressure on SpaceX, others think that the authorities are justified in their cautious approach, especially after the disastrous events of the first test flight. What do you think? Should the FAA lower some restrictions for the benefit of innovation, or should they continue with their strict approach? Please let us know in the comments below.